Clint Buchanan? Brought Ray Montez here to take you away from Dorian. Yeah. Are you kidding me? How do you know this? I saw the two of them talking at Nora's house, shaking hands. All right, he was thanking Ray for a job well done. And then Ray says he's glad it's finally over, and then Clint says it's not over yet. Oh, so then what? Then Clint sees me. Well, what did he say to you? Well, first he tries to lay this crap line on me. He introduces me to Ray as his business associate. Yeah, right. Yeah, then I tell him that I know that he's your uncle. So he gets rid of Ray pretty quick. I'll bet he did. And he tells me he wants to talk to me, you know, man to man. Tells me that your Aunt Dorian stole away his legacy away from his father. Pretty much tells me that he's trying to get back at her. Oh, my God. And then he tries to scare me into not saying anything. How? You like living here, don't you, son? No, he's threatening to kick you out? I don't care. I don't care what he does to me. I just care about what he's doing to Langston. You might not have to go to Columbia after all. We finally got something on your Uncle Ray. If Clint Buchanan really set this up, why would he let you come over here and tell us about it? Well, what else was he going to do? Lock Cole in his room? Tell me again what he said. Did he actually admit that this whole thing was about getting back at Dory? Well, no. He talked around why Ray was here. He started talking about my dad. Your dad? What does your father have anything to do with this? He said that I wouldn't like it if someone took away from my dad and something he worked for his whole life. He compared it to my wanting to keep the baby. Whoa. Yeah, then, uh, he tried using the whole, uh, Nora and I have been good to you, right? Talk about blackmail. Yeah, it gets worse. He said he likes to reward loyalty. So if I kept quiet about this, I would have a future with the family. Never knew that Clint could be so grimy. He's really into it, Langston. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't put it past Clint to, uh, to have made the whole thing up. Made it up? What are you talking about? I'm saying that Ray may not even be your uncle. Clint Buchanan might have set this whole thing in motion, but Ray Montez is definitely my uncle. But why are you so sure? He showed the judge all sorts of ID in court. It could all be fake, Langston. And he told me stories about my mom that I know were true, and he gave me this necklace, and he had that photo of him and my mom. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Lang, all that stuff could be faked. I mean, your Uncle Ray could be working you. No! Okay, okay Langston, look. Okay, he, he, he may be your real uncle. But I got a real sleazy vibe off this guy when I saw him with Clint. Yeah, and the Buchanans have so many connections, Langston. That judge could have been paid off. They don't own the justice system. We're, we're just thinking about you. Okay, well, think about this. Dorian arranged for a quick adoption. Nobody even knew about it. Except for Uncle Ray, who filed an injunction to stop the adoption. Which means that judge or someone in that courthouse is in Buchanan's pocket. I can't believe this. All I wanted was a connection to my parents. And Clint Buchanan may be using this to get back at Dorian? Why would Clint Buchanan use me to get back at Dorian? Well, because he knows that you're practically like Dorian's child. And he knows how much Dorian cares about her children. Yeah, she's right, Langston. All right, Clint Buchanan, he's desperate to get back at Dorian. Maybe he found out that I was looking for my relative. Maybe that's how he got on to Uncle Ray. I keep feeling like I made this happen. No, there's nothing wrong with wanting a connection to your folks. Yeah, Langston, I, I totally get you wanting that connection. I, mean, I, I did some really stupid things because I wanted the same thing. Yeah, this is a good thing, don't you see? You outclip Buchanan for his role in this, and you don't have to leave anymore. Cole... I really appreciate you coming over here and telling me this. And I really want to believe that this means that I don't have to go to South America. But... But what? But the judge still said that Uncle Ray is my legal guardian. So what difference does any of this make? 
Who's to stop him from dragging me to wherever he wants me to go? I think you're wrong, Lang. Knowing that Clint Buchanan is behind your Uncle Ray makes a huge difference. Yeah, it does. Because now Aunt Dorian can really do something about it. She can drag Ray to court and prove that the whole thing was a setup. Yeah, Langston, this is huge. Huge. That's right, but we can't waste any time. Your Uncle Ray is going to be banging on the door first thing tomorrow morning. Margo's right. You need to fight. And you need to fight now. And you need to fight just as dirty as Clint Buchanan is. Sounds like I need to talk to Dorian. Well, yeah, I mean, she did write the book on how to play dirty. <laughs> she is kind of like my mom now. Exactly. Now let's keep it that way. We need to speak to the commissioner. He's tied up. Okay, well, we need to see my aunt. Her name is Dorian Lord. A judge threw in you for contempt. Totally unfairly. Yeah, we have something really important to tell her. Sorry, visiting hours are over. <sighs> Excuse me. This, my name is Cole Thornhart. All right, my guardian is Nora Hannon, the, the DA. So? Okay, well, I'm also friends with Detective John McBain. And I'm really attached to my job, which is why I'm not going to be breaking any rules for a bunch of rich kids. I mean, what is your deal? Cole, calm down. Look, is there any way at least just one of us could go? Seriously, dude, you have got to let us talk to her. Seriously, dude. Whatever this is, it's going to have to wait till tomorrow. Damn. All right, well, well maybe I could get myself arrested. <gasps> I was just thinking the same thing. What? Yeah, that, that's one way to get down there, right? What is yeah. That? No. I'm not spending what might be my last night here in Lambie without my friends. It's not going to be your last night. You've got to believe that. Okay, I'll try. Let's get out of here, huh? Well, we, we, we better go, too. Cole, wait. I just really want to thank you for being so amazing about everything. I mean, I, I know how much it means to Langston. I, did, I didn't just do it for her. Did it for you, too. We should just confront Clip Buchanan ourselves. Well, I'd be all for it if I thought we'd get anything out of him. What if we get to Ray? Tell him we know everything. Now, I'm not sure he'd back off no matter what. Well, we can handle him. Well, yeah, if it's two of, two of us, sure. Yeah. Wait, stop. No. Guys, I think you're all amazing for wanting to help me, but I'm not going to do one more thing without talking to Dorian first. A permanent solution. I hope now because of you guys. I can't leave you. I mean, look at us, the way we all were tonight, the four of us together again, doing what needs to be done. <laughs> the Fantastic Four is back. At least for tonight, anyway. For more than tonight. <laughs>